This is Nishama Abraham with Dr. Rainer Volkemer. Dr. Volkemer is an associate professor in chemistry and a series fellow at the University of Colorado Boulder. Dr. Volkemer's research group creates innovative instruments to study particles in the air. He has worked on projects around the world on board planes and ships and on land, and he's currently working with a FRAPRI project along the Front Range of Colorado. Dr. Volkemer, thank you so much for being with us. Pleased to be here. I'm, I'm a professor in chemistry and we build instruments. Um, we build optical spectroscopic instruments that uh, measure trace gases in the atmosphere. And uh, so we got interested in measuring gases at infrared wavelengths. Um, what's special about this is that we can measure columns in the atmosphere, not only in situ concentrations, near surface concentrations, but we measure the vertical integral of those concentrations in the atmosphere. We have done this from aircraft, we can do this from ground-based vehicles, and uh, there's a whole array of molecules that can be measured at infrared wavelengths that gives us information about the chemical composition of the atmosphere and how it transforms uh, these emissions uh, from anthropogenic or biogenic sources to form secondary pollutants like ozone or aerosols, which are health hazards. We are contacted by, uh, by NCAR whether we uh, wanted to do something local. Uh, our expertise fills a gap in the observational capabilities um, in, in the sense that other ground-based observatories measure the composition near the ground. Aircraft can only measure uh, the composition as low as the aircraft can go. And so that tends to be limited to 300, 500 meters, and there's an observational gap uh, between these ground-based platforms and the aircraft uh, that we fill with the mobile column observations. Well, so the equipment is new. We are taking it out for the, for the first time. This is our maiden deployment of mobile soft. Uh, in fact, uh, it's the Colorado Department for Public Health and Environment that is supporting uh, some of the development and uh, the first deployment of this instrument. So, so traditionally what you do when you measure air quality is that you measure the chemical composition of air near the surface. And you do this because that's where you have access to the atmosphere. Uh, what is different in what we do is that uh, we integrate the composition, we measure it from the Earth's surface all the way to the sun. Most of the variability in the atmosphere is in the lower atmosphere. So effectively we are integrating the concentration of gases over altitude. Boulder is a, is a, is a global headquarter for atmospheric chemistry. Um, there's many other institutions like for example the National Center for Atmospheric Research, um, who is um, funded by National Science Foundation and, and leading uh, in a major study in the front range area, which is called the Front Range Air Pollution and Photochemistry Experiment, FRAPE. And so FRAPE um, is also partnered with NASA uh, under a so-called Discover AQ uh, campaign. Discover air, air Quality, AQ stands for air quality. I'm really excited about doing something local. Um, because we tend to do these field measurements in more remote places. We've worked in Mexico City, we have worked in Los Angeles. Uh, these are mega cities um, where there is uh, more of a focus of uh, more than 10 million people living in one spot. That's the future model of how globally people have a trend towards living in cities. And so the problems that this creates for air quality is something that uh, these studies are providing a physical and chemical documentation about the impacts of all this energy being consumed by many people living in one place. The data acquisition period of RAPE has come to a close. We are in a mode now that we have uh, been successful at generating a very exciting data set and uh, we will spend the next year analyzing those data. Thank you Dr. Volkmer for spending the time and explaining the important work you're doing along the Front Range. My pleasure.